and groove like Grover? Jump with me! <laughs> then we want to put your kid on Noggin's newest show, Play With Me Sesame. Yeah! We need videotapes of your kids playing, waving, laughing, or even saying. Play with me! To find out how to get your kids on Play With Me Sesame, go to noggin.com slash sesame. Play with me! And then what happened? The story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Long ago, a boy named Jack lived with his mother in a little house. They were very poor and very hungry. All they owned was a cow. Jack, take the cow and sell her in the market so we will have money to buy food. Setting out for town, Jack came upon an old man. Hey, I'll trade you five beans for your cow. Beans, said Jack. Oh, but these are magic beans. Jack traded the cow for the beans and ran home. His mom was not happy. Beans! What good are these? Go to your room now, young man. When Jack woke up the next morning, he saw a giant beanstalk rising into the sky. It had grown from the beans. Jack climbed the beanstalk until he reached a cloud, and there was a huge castle. Jack sneaked in. The furniture was gigantic. Then came a booming voice. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And there he stood, an ugly giant, tall as a tree. Jack hid until he went away. Then Jack heard another voice. It came from a little hen trapped in a cage. Please save me from the mean giant. Jack freed the hen and they ran for the beanstalk. But the giant was right behind them. Boom, boom, went his giant feet. As Jack reached the ground, the giant was coming down the beanstalk after them. Jack's mother grabbed an axe and began to chop down the stalk. The giant quickly climbed back up the cloud. I'm glad you're safe, said Jack's mom. But now our cow is gone and all we have is this hen. Then the hen laid an egg of solid gold. They were rich beyond their wildest dreams. Jack, she said, I think we're going to live happily ever after. And then what happened? Hi, my name is Ariel. I'm going to tell you about Jack. Jack went home and found the golden eggs, and he went out and bought watermelon. And he took a shovel and dig a hole in the ground and put the seeds in. And a beautiful watermelon tree grew. Then there were big, yummy watermelons hanging from the tree. Then he ate the watermelon. And then the snow came and covered the watermelons. And then the chipmunks came and wrote their names on the snow on the watermelon. So all the animals got hungry and they took down the watermelon and they ate them. So while the chipmunks were eating their watermelon in the snow, Giant's twin brother lived in a volcano nearby. And then he came over and planted green beans in the ground. And Jack and his mother ate the green beans and turned green. Jack went, ah! Jack's mother went, ah! And then for two months, visitors came and poured water on them. Phew! And then they turned back to normal. And they lived happily ever after the end. <laughs> Time to get up. And it's time to start noggin. Let's go. Can you help me sing our song? Seeing, smelling, hearing, telling, something new. New to think and to do. Okay, good job. Now let's keep going.
bongos. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uma play? Oh. Yeah, Uma play? Again? Again! draw, make music, and so much more together. Just go to noggin.com and click Ubi. Hooray! <laughs> it's almost time for Kipper. Now, let me see. What would Kipper say? Is it this? <laughs> doesn't hee-haw. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah! Well, that just might be it. Are you sure it isn't this one? No! no! <laughs> you were right. Kipper does sound like this. That's brilliant. And now, it's time for Kipper on Noggin. They call it Kipper. You could, and he can do that, which is more than any old cat could. Would you like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like Kipper? That's Kipper the dog. Now that's a frog. Henry! Everybody, let's see what's going to be on now. First, it's Maisie. Second, it's Blue's Clues. And then third, it's Play With Me Sesame. Game time! Let's play. Okay, it's up to you. Which one comes first? <laughs> you got it. Maisie comes first. All right, my little smarty pants. Can you tell me which one is third? Yeah! Does your kid love to draw like Bert? I love to draw on my computer. <laughs> and show off their drawings? Look at this picture! Then we want to put your kid's drawings and their photo on Noggin's newest show, Play With Me Sesame. To find out how, go to noggin.com slash sesame. Play with me! You can watch Gullah Gullah Island seven days a week on Noggin. Hey, everybody. It's almost time for Maisie. Okay. Tell me, what does Maisie sound like? Does she sound like this? <laughs> 
Way too low for Maisie. What about this? Ah! Yeah! yeah, that could be it. But are you sure it's not this? Oh! You were right. Maisie sounds like this. Ah! And hey, it's time for Maisie on Noggin. This show is made for Noggin by Nick Jr. Everybody, let's see what's going to be on now. Next, it's Blue's Clues, followed by Play With Me Sesame in the middle there, and then it's Tiny Planets. Game time! Let's play! Ooh, looks like Tiny Planets is on the bottom. Now, help me out, would ya? Where's Blue's Clues? Man, oh man, you're so smart. That's right. Blue's Clues is on the top. Now, can you tell me where Play With Me Sesame is? Yeah! Again. And now, meet the stars of Noggin's brand new show, Play With Me Sesame. Ernie. Uh, hi there. Bert. Hi. Grover. Prairie Dawn. Hello, dear play friends. And introducing our newest star, your kid. Yay! Noggin presents a brand new way to Sesame. Play with me, Sesame. The show where your kid sings, draws, tricks, and plays with the Muppets. So come play with us. Every day at 7.30 a.m. Eastern and 9 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. Only on Noggin. You can watch Gullah Gullah Island seven days a week on Noggin.
Uma. Hum? Watch. Kiko. Ubi. Clap. Uma. Ubi. Clap. Uma. Clap. Uma. Clap. Uma. Clap. Bye. 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 Now you and Ubi can dance, draw, make music, and so much more together. Just go to noggin.com and click Ubi. Hooray! Woohoo! It's almost time for Blue's Clues. Now, let me see. Which sound does Blue make? Is it this? <laughs> no! No, I don't think so. Well, then it's got to be this. No! No? Do you suppose it could be this? Yeah! Yeah, that's it. That is blue. And now it's time for Blue's Clues on Noggin. This show is made for Noggin by Nick Jr. Blue's Clues on Noggin. I love Blue's Clues. Is brought to you by Jillian's, where every day is a play day. Blue's Clues on Noggin. I love Blue's Clues. Is brought to you by Jillian's, where every day is a play day. Well, hello there, everybody. Let's see what's going to be on Noggin. Next, it's Play With Me Sesame, followed by Tiny Planets. And then, ooh, I love this. It's Little Bear. Game time! Let's play. Okay, it's up to you. Sesame starts with a s sound. Can you tell me what starts with a t sound? Haha, -ha, you got it. Tiny planet starts with a t sound. All right, my little smart ones. Can you tell me what starts with a l sound? Yeah! Does your kid love to laugh like Ernie? Or move and groove like Grover? Jump with me! Then we want to put your kid on Noggin's newest show, Play With Me Sesame. Yeah! We need videotapes of your kids playing, waving, laughing, or even safe. Play with me! To find out how to get your kids on Play With Me Sesame, go to noggin.com slash sesame. Play with me! And then what happened? The story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, in a house in the woods, lived three bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. One morning, Papa Bear made porridge for his family, but it was too hot to eat, so the bears went for a walk while it cooled down. A little girl named Goldilocks smelled something delicious and followed it right into the bear's house. She tasted Papa Bear's bowl of porridge, but it was too hot. Mama Bear's porridge was too cold. Baby Bear's porridge was just right, so Goldilocks ate it all up. Yummy! Then Goldilocks was tired, so she sat in Papa Bear's chair, but it was much too hard. She tried Mama Bear's chair, but it was much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was just right, but she rocked on it back and forth so many times, it broke into pieces. Now Goldilocks was very tired. So she tried Papa Bear's bed. It was much too hard. She tried Mama Bear's bed. It was much too soft. Then she tried Baby Bear's little bed. It was just right, and Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Soon the three bears came home and saw someone had tasted Mama and Papa Bear's porridge and had eaten Baby Bear's porridge all up. In the living room, someone had sat in Mama and Papa Bear's chairs, and Baby Bear's chair was broken into pieces. Upstairs, Mama and Papa Bear's beds were a mess, and Baby Bear saw what
what looked like a pile of blankets on his bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, Baby Bear cried so loud that he woke up Goldilocks. Ah! screamed Goldilocks when she saw the bears. Ah! screamed the bears as Goldilocks ran down the stairs and right out of their house. And then what happened? Hi, my name is Abby, and I'm going to tell you about Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks ran past the three bears down the hall out to the store. She said, what do bears like? Hmm, I know exactly what they like. It might be a good idea to get them a box of chocolate. And she shopped and shopped and shopped. Then she realized that she wasn't in the dessert aisle. So she went down to the dessert aisle, and she found chocolate cherries, and she got it. After that, she got a couch and chairs. So we placed one she broke for the baby bear. Then she realized she forgot a present. She went to the store and got them a disco ball. Then she went home and wrecked them off and said to the three bears from Goldilocks. It took three whole rolls for her couch and two for the chairs. Then she took the disco ball and she wrapped it up. It was sort of messy because it's hard to run a disco ball. After that, she rang her doll and gave and said, Surprise! This is from me. And I would like to have a party. So the three bears came over in her backyard, and Goldilocks and, and the baby bear became friends, and they played, and they danced out in the disco ball like this. And it was happily ever after the end. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's almost time for Play With Me Sesame. Now, let me think here. Hmm. Which one of these sounds matches Play With Me Sesame? No! <laughs> How about this one? When we say Play With Me, you say Sesame! Yeah! yeah! Hmm. That could be it. Let's hear one more. Before. Play with me, Sesame. Sounds like this. When we say play with me, you say Sesame. Now it's time for play with me, Sesame, on Noggin. Noggin's play with me, Sesame. Ernie says, put your hands on your toes. Is brought to you by Jillian's, where every day is a play day. Somebody come and play today. Somebody come and play some games. And sing the songs. And play along. Somebody come and play today. It's going to be so much fun. Somebody come and play with me. Oh, I can hardly wait. Monsters! Okay. Gooba Gaba Doodle! Glumdy Bobbly! Bobbly Boo! Hop up gibberish! Gibba Gaba Goo Goo! Gumbala Pretty Pretty Lop Loop Loop! Slippery Slops! Gibberish Hop Up! Gabba Gaba 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 Let's play again real soon, okay? Yeah! Visit us online. Send us your drawings. No.
Goggins, Play With Me Sesame. Ernie says, put your hands on your toes. Is brought to you by Jillian's, where every day is a play day. Does your kid love to draw like Bert? I love to draw on my computer. <laughs> and show off their drawings? Look at this picture. Then we want to put your kid's drawings and their photo on Noggin's newest show, Play With Me Sesame. Yeah! To find out how, go to noggin.com slash sesame. Play With Me! Well, hello, everybody. Let's see what's going to be on Noggin. Coming up first, it's Tiny Planets. Second, it's Little Bear. And third, it's Franklin. Game time! Let's play. Okay, it's up to you. Can you tell me which one comes first? That's right, it's Tiny Planets. Okay, my little smart ones. Now can you tell me which one comes second? This is Holly calling Bingham Bong. The Flockers are playing a cool new game called Gung Ball on the tiny planet of Self. Your mission is to play well together. Have fun! There are two teams in Gong Ball. Oh look, they're saying good game to each other. Play fair. Mm. Oh dear. Bong is unhappy about that. <laughs> now Bong's very angry with Bing, and that's not very nice. Oh, that's very bad behavior from Bong. The flockers are coming over to say good game. Mm, but Bong is not being a good sport. Hmm, being great at sports doesn't mean that you can act like that, Bong. No, no one wants to play with someone who behaves as badly as Bong. Oh, you're a good sport, Bing. 
Uh-oh. Oh, well done. 